Hey guys, it is me, Miss Matcha Blossom. I am going to be doing a DIY for Hanfu. Normally I put it on my other channel, which is the Inspired channel where I do a lot of sewing and crafting. Go ahead and check that out because I did make my first Hanfu ever. For, and it's basically based off of the Town Dynasty kind of vibes, but I'll let you decide how you like that. Today I'm actually going to do a DIY for some of the jewelry because it's just tailored to just this panel. I'm going to just disclaim and say I'm sorry, I do, I'm not a perfect person and knowing how to make jewelry or ancient Chinese jewelry and I apologize for all the noises in the background. My heater's on because I am cold, I am anemic, so we recording this because everything was just making noises. My dog the car outside. Hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you think. This is just purely off of inspiration. So today I'm going to show you what materials I'm using to make these accessories. First things first, I'm going to be using these children's pipings, which are like these cure pipes that you can get from any Dollar Tree or any kids section of the store by using some scissors. So that's another thing on your materials. Accessories, I'm going to use some paper clips that I got also from Dollar Tree. Using some planting shears that are from the spring section in Dollar Tree. Oh, I know some people are going to be like, why are you doing that? It's going to just help me help mold and move the metal. So I have these shears, which are the serrated shear. Bypass pruning shoe is going to be my E6000. One right here, I have some flowers I got from Dollar Tree. So I bought a bunch. But these are also for my hair accessories. These are all of my references I'm going to be doing. Besides using my phone as a reference. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Yes, this is my Hanfu jewelry collection that personally most of them I made or have collected at the store. So hopefully you'll like it. Let me go through each piece. So before I forget to show you guys, I almost forgot. So these are the nail polishes that I told you I used for the Hanfu. Of course you have your 302, which is in gold. So this is my gold one. I bought two silvers because I know I would be using it more often because I like silver better than gold, no offense. This is the pink sparkly one that has like a shimmer to it too, just like the silver and gold. But that's what I used also in the accessories that I mentioned. And then never forget, if you don't want to use a shimmer, you can always use a transparency kind of color. This is in just a top big scope. It doesn't have a number. But this is what I used, and it's LA Colors, like a nail polish for all of them. So these I made, and I think they're one of the cutest. I took a nail polish that was gold, that's like a transparency gold, and I layered it so you can still see it without too much pigmentation being covered over the other natural colors, so it brings out a very nice, like, rich, natural tone. You and the, they're the barrette ones, so I have a bunch of barrettes, and then just, like, the, the clip ends, which I'll show you in a minute. I'm gonna show you all my, my barrette ones first, so this is another one. It's very simple. I might redo it, but, like, it's really cute, because once again, I use these nail polish transparency, like, shimmery kind of um, nail polishes to make it more hardened. I might add a little bit more jewelry on this, but I wanted something simple just to start so I can see how to play with it. But see how it's shiny but glittery? Now, these are one of my top favorites out of my stuff because I love the way it looks. I did not use a nail polish covering because it was very cute and natural and very like plum-like blossom. So I decided to leave it as it is, but I these are the barrette ones once again. I'm going through all the barrettes. The next ones are also kind of like a secondary favorite because I added these little pearls inside which I got for 99 cents at Walmart. And the flowers of course Dollar Tree and the, the nail polish Dollar Tree. I just covered it so it's more hard but it looks like more jewelry than it is flower. So some of these have that nail polish covering. Once again it's the same purpose like I used it for an overall thing so I don't have to use too much because they can go with buns, they can go with like little braids and they're actually these clip-ons and I use gold trimming with pearl and I didn't use any kind of like nail polishing or hardening for it because it's to make it look simple and cute and light. Now you're gonna see more of these because these are the barrette ones. I have two barrette ones of these just in case. I had so many of these flowers but I decided to do two barrettes of these because I have clips ones of these just in case I, to make it look flattened and more realistic like I just put a flower in my hair. And I, you, you will see that in the other flowers as well, but that's just to help you make these. This one is still a process in the making. It's kind of like just there. I don't know what to do with it, 
but I do want to add some cuteness to it, but I decided to leave it like bland as it is. Now these are the other ones that I did mention that are the clip-ons. Same method of how I did the other ones. Um, just gluing it on, using a skewer to flatten it down. But this is just like the extras that are clips. In case I don't need barrettes, I have the clip one. Now these are cute. I kind of like these more. They're all my top favorites because these are also clips. But they look like they can go in a matching set. And it's just, I think it's adorable. It reminds you of like a little bit of Mulan with the puddle. Puddle. The pond. It just reminds you of the, the lilies in the pond. And I just, I couldn't help myself. Now these... These are for a more subtle look, like if you just want something on your like modern Hanfu like inspired outfit, you can just add these two little babies on there with a cute little braided hairstyle and you're pretty much set to go. It's just the pearl with the flower on top. That's basically what I have for this one. These are really cute too because it adds like a sense of elegant yet cute to it and these are the clips. So you can add these in just really quickly if you want a quick a simple like gorgeous look that just like hurried together so I added the pearl along with this and how I did it was I glued the small ones on first is <laughs> the best way I can describe it more like put together sorry and my words are lost to me they're cute they remind me of water lilies um they're kind of they're more prettier than the other ones I showed you that are like just white because as the pink like gradient effect now I just glued these onto some berets and I really, really like them. I want to add them to like a cute little light hanfu that's very transparent. I just added two on here and I held it on. I didn't add a fabric because on here because you're simply having it covered up with your hair. So it's not as noticeable. But if you do want to not have anyone see it, I just glued a little bit of the petal over it. And that way no one can really see the metal. But now these are my hair pins or like the longer pieces. So I made these. These are kind of a matching set in a way, but they look a little bit different from each other. But they don't have too much of a long like tassel, but I thought they were really cute. Once again, it's a very natural, but it's put together kind of elegant. Two of the individual sets, so this can be on the back of your head, this can be on the side of your head. And this one actually is what you saw in the video. I added pearls to it later on, and I actually used this from paper clips and I glued it together eventually but I used a fabric to hold it together and then once I got the whole piece together I glued it to the hair clip so remember that if you want something elegant like this make sure you have a fabric that's holding it all together or it will not do it now these two I actually had made I was kind of bored and I was like well I want this to look simple but elegant like if I want to throw together like a modern Hong Fu outfit I'll probably do this and this is just kind of start me off before I get my own jewelry ones so it's like kind of with two different colored tassels with the flowers but that's what I just threw together I might add a little bit more to it later who knows now these I made a long time ago when I made that DIY a Han Fu tutorial because I wanted to add my hairstyle in there but I didn't eventually but if you want to see that video I'll link it somewhere above alright guys so this is most of my Han Fu accessory stuff besides the store bought ones which I'll show you in a sec now these I got at Claire's a long time ago but they're very very cute so I have of course the lily kind of like what a lily kind of flower and then I have this one which is like for your ponytails but I decided to put it in my Han Fu collection because it's something you could put for your high ponytail and it still be like royalty kind of princessy. Now, this one I put in the collection because it's something that can fly by for it. Like, if you're in the house, you know, it has the pearls and stuff and it has the chiffons. Now, these, I had to add these. I think I bought these a while ago, like a long time ago. But they really work well because it goes with the Tang Dynasty. Now, this one is like kind of more of like a nature-y kind of like rogue. Kind of like hairpin like i could see someone in the hanfu dynasty wearing like if she's like oh i'm a nature flower person but i'm royalty in that like fairy kind of flower thing i'd probably put this in my hair now these two are my last pieces so this i actually bought let's see i bought this probably a few months ago in 2019 and right now it's march so don't judge me so that completes my current uh, my current Hanfu like jewelry, this is the current Hanfu jewelry that I have right now. My heart just go out to the people of Wuhan and the rest of China who are going through the coronavirus. And I'm really sorry. I just wanted to say that first and foremost before I continue. If you also feel bad, please donate down below. I will put the UNICEF's link because they have it to where you could donate to the issue of the coronavirus people in China so that they can help 
Why is my lighting changing? All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Once again, I do want to apologize for the noises in the background. It was really not intentional. But if you like more videos like this, please go ahead and hit the subscribe wherever it's been placed by YouTube. And hit that like video if you really like videos like this and you want to see more. But I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, if you have a request or a question, leave it down in the comment box below. But I'll see you ladies and gents later. Blossoming out. Oh.